Governor, the, the, the premise behind Simpson Bowles is that there needs to be something that's done on both sides of the ledger book, that we bring in higher revenue and we cut spending from the government. And if you take a look at your tax plan, obviously there are a lot of different ways that it's scored, but H&R Block has something out right now that says for a family of over 700000 who's making over 700000 if they apply your tax plan to it, that family would end up paying a little more than $50,000 less in taxes. And I guess my question becomes, does your plan assume that we can get to tackling the, de the, the budget deficit by cutting some of those expenditures and by raising growth and that alone? Or is there a need to actually raise more tax revenue? You know, actually, what I put out of my plan is a series of principles uh, that allow our economy to, to grow and at the same time uh, maintain a, a neutral um, uh, budget impact. And, uh, and so I haven't laid out all the details of how we're going to deal with each one of the deductions and exemptions. Uh, so I think it's kind of interesting for the groups to try and score it because, frankly, it can't be scored uh, because those kinds of details are going to have to be worked out with Congress and we have a wide, wide uh, array of options. But I, one more principle that I, that I mentioned, and I want to mention it here, is that, is that it is essential to me that we not place a larger share of the tax burden on middle-income taxpayers. So that means that, that uh, we're not going to end up with very high income tax uh, payers taking a smaller share. Uh, we're going to have to limit the deductions and exemptions in such a way, uh, again, limiting them more towards high income folks so that high income folks don't pay a smaller share of the total. They continue to pay the same share they're paying now. Same things with, uh, with middle income taxpayers. I, I, I'm, I'm not looking for a way uh, to change the, uh, the progressivity of the code. Sure. I'm looking for a way instead to lower the marginal rates, which, which is the most uh, powerful way to encourage the economy to grow and to get investment in jobs again. And that, of course, puts more people into paying taxes and helps, uh, you know, helps recover the tax revenues that, uh, that we so badly need. That makes sense, but I guess my question is, what's your definition of wealthy? Because 250000 gets thrown around, a million dollars gets thrown around. What, what would you put that cap at? Well, what, what I'll look at is, is the, uh, the various cohorts, the top 5%, the top 10%, the top 25%. We'll look across the code at the various um, uh, categories of taxpayers and see if they're continuing to pay approximately the same share that they have in the past and the current system. It, it, it's important to me that, that middle-income taxpayers, the great majority of Americans, don't see a, uh, an increase in their tax share. Mm -hmm. I want the, everyone to have a reduction in the top rate. That obviously has a, a very powerful growth incentive and, uh, uh, if you will, hours worked incentive. Uh, but what I, but I, what I don't want to do is to change the, uh, uh, the orientation.